Matt, after 37 years, American Pharaoh for trainer Bob Baffert finally broke through. He became the first horse in nearly four decades to add his name to the roll call of champions of Triple Crown winners, horses to sweep the Kentucky Derby Preakness and Belmont Stakes. So that means uh, a few years later, uh, it's been 40 years since the second to last Triple Crown winner did it. 12 horses could we have 13 this year? Is it too early to start talking about Justify as a possible Triple Crown winner? I don't think it's too early to start talking about that. I think you and I both feel that that Justify is a very likely winner of the of the Preakness, and that would send him on his way uh, to be a contender for the Triple Crown. And, you know, in the past, back in the 70s, uh, after a long drought, there there was a cluster of uh, Triple Crown winners when we went from Secretariat uh, uh, to Seattle Slough to Affirmed. So why not have another cluster now? But we also have to remember that it is no easy task to uh, complete the Triple Crown. In that 37-year gap, there were a lot of horses that went to uh, Belmont Park uh, with a chance to win the Triple Crown. And we talked about Bob Baffert and his uh, perfect record from Derby to Preakness in winning that. And so what does that mean? It means he headed to uh, Belmont Park with a chance to win the Triple Crown in all those instances. But even him, even he was only to do it, able to do it once with American Pharaoh. So even if Justify takes this Preakness like you and I think, Brian. Um, history uh, history makes it tough to complete the, the three jewels. Absolutely, Matt. We're looking back at history here, folks. Sir Barton was a maiden back in 1919 before he swept the series, before it was really known as the Triple Crown. Gallon Fox and then five years later, his son Omaha, 1930-1935, became the second and third Triple Crown winners the highly regarded war admiral, the horse that many of us know from the famous match race, losing that match race to Seabiscuit, did it in 1937. Mr. Longtail, Matt, 1941, whirl away with his big come from behind style, was able to easily sweep the Triple Crown, as did two other horses in the, or three other horses in the 40s, but Count Fleet in 43 and uh, Citation in 1948 were dominant winners of the crit Triple Crown. Assault also got it done in 1946. Matt, we had a 25-year gap before Secretary came along. He of the Big Red, the Big Heart, and his rival Sham. The Belmont was incredible with a 31-length win after setting suicidal fractions with Sham early in that Belmont. Seattle Slough, 1977, I'm going to talk about him more in a second, became the second Triple Crown winner in a few years when he did it in 77 and then affirmed and his great rival, Alidor, 1978, they ran one, two in each leg, none closer than the last leg, the Belmont Stakes. But Matt, 1977, back then, Seattle Slough was a little bit lightly raced for his Triple Crown, but he is the only undefeated horse, the only horse to go through the Triple Crown undefeated. That's what Justify is looking to do here. Matt, he's got speed, he's got talent. We've known it from the beginning, and now we know he's ready to do it at classic distances against top competition. The Preakness is easier than the Derby. We might have a wet track again like the Derby. Good Magic is a good horse, but I, too, like you, am feeling that Justify will at least get to Belmont with the chance. I, I think I agree with that, Brian. And, and as we know, one thing that has changed in terms of uh, winning the Triple Crown is that uh, a lot of a lot of trainers now are skipping the Preakness and they head to the Belmont with fresh horses. So uh, um, it makes the task maybe a little bit harder for Justify than for some of those others that you mentioned, where that strategy didn't quite come into play uh, as it does today. That's right, and and we don't need to look at new shooters. We only need to look at Kentucky Derby horses. How about Audible? My boy Jack Hoffberg, Vino Rosso. That's that's four horses waiting, skipping the Preakness and waiting for the Belmont. Horses that very well may like a mile and a half at Belmont Park. So Justify 
if we're right, if most people are right, if just about everybody's right, Justify does indeed win the Preakness, the Belmont will be no easy task. But if he does it, he'll become Bob Baffert's second Triple Crown winner and the 13th horse in history to win the Triple Crown.